I have a cousin who's dealt with a lot of Islamophobia. His name is Jihad. <laughs> and he's gotten it uh, pretty bad. Like he got lost at the airport one time when he was a little kid. <laughs> and there's really nothing you can do in that situation, you know? If you're the parents, you lose your kid named Jihad in the airport, like... <laughs> you just gotta leave, like that's it, you know? <laughs> what are you supposed to do? You can't just drop all your luggage, start screaming, Jihad, in the middle of the airport. <laughs> Only thing worse than screaming Jihad in the airport is whispering Jihad in the airport. For some reason, <laughs> it's worse, I don't know why. It's a beautiful name if you know what it means. Jihad in Arabic literally means to struggle for something. And he really lived up to his name. He struggled a whole lot. <laughs> like I know it's a beautiful name because I speak Arabic, but I also get it, you know, like an Arab guy named Jihad. That's it's a little bit on the nose, you know? <laughs> like an Arab guy named Jihad is like a white guy named Yeehaw or some shit. It's like, <laughs> If a white guy came up to me and he's like, yeah, my name is Yeehaw, hell yeah, I'd be like, terrorist, go back to your country. And he could yell Yeehaw in the airport as loud as he wanted and everybody would be like, hell yeah. That's right. <laughs>